Hey guys, back here at Scientist here. You know, as much as I like making things like rocket-powered knives and giant mouse traps, I really enjoy making things that other people can make. So let me introduce you to the potato cannon-powered airplane. Check it out. So I've been wanting to make this video for a while, right? But the problem is I have no idea how to make a good plane. But I can make a pretty sweet air cannon. So this is the air cannon we're gonna be using, right? It's pretty simple, it's got a one inch barrel, ball valve, super easy to make, and I'm not gonna spend any time going over it because I'm assuming that you guys already have a cannon. No, of course they have a cannon, why wouldn't they? So planes, can't fly them at all. But I got a friend that can help. My friend Joe used to be the president of the engineering club at my college, super smart guy, so he's down to help me with this. But the problem is he lives in a different city, so it's kind of hard to build something together when you're not there building it together. So Joe and I have been working together over the new Dropbox paper, and it's been really easy to collaborate on this. So he's been sending me lists of stuff I need to buy. He's been sharing me diagrams, 3D files that I can print to help improve the strength of my glider. He's been sending me videos on other people building gliders. He's been sending me advanced PhD level math on how to fix the center of gravity for my plane. So the new Dropbox paper has just made it really easy to collaborate on stuff. You can share pictures, make lists, do all kinds of, you know, timelines and calendars and just share everything with each other on one place. It's really nice. Okay, well, as you can see, I have been building planes all week and my friend Joe's coming over this weekend, so we're gonna see which planes work the best. I've got big wings, I've got small wings, and we're gonna be testing out all these different configurations to see which ones fly the best. Look who it is! Joe just showed up and he brought his plane. So Joe, tell us about your planes and then tell me about my planes and why my planes are gonna be better. <laughs> All right, so what I've got here is um, a couple planes that were made out of Dollar Tree foam board, uh, carbon arrow shafts, and cardboard tubes. Cardboard right there. All right, so that's pretty cool, but this is my plane. So look at this, look at all this tape. More tape means more power, am I right? I think this will fly fast and really heavy. Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna go out and we're gonna test these and we're gonna let you know which design's the best and then show you how to build them. Let's get started. So we went out to test our plane designs, Joe's lightweight oh no! carbon fiber based planes versus my uh, PVC oh no. based planes. Anyway, we learned a lot about our designs and finally got something that we think will work. Whoa, no! Wait, no, no! Right in the tree. That was great though. Did you see how high that flew? That was the best test yet. I think this is the good design, Joe. Yeah, I'd say that that was a, a pretty good flight. Look at that, it's like 50 feet up there. I think like, we just need to take that design optimize it and run with it. Yeah, and then you can get it stuck in a tree 100 feet up. <laughs> okay, so what we actually have here with all these planes is a really good example of how engineering is done. We iteratively improve on a design, trying to figure out and zero in on the what what is actually gonna be important in that design. So we have planes that are too fast, planes that are too heavy, planes that are too slow, and eventually, by trying all of these variations, we're gonna get to just the right combination of what will fly as far as you possibly can with the GoPro on it. Dude, that was so cool! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Dude, that was so awesome! All right, all right, all right. We've been having enough fun flying it. these things, so let me teach you how to build them so you can nice. fly them yourself. So I told you I like projects that you guys can make at home and I really like them even more when they're super cheap. You can make a foam glider like this for like $3. Seriously, all you need is a piece of foam board, something to cut it with, some packing tape, like, and a hot glue gun. And then you can make an awesome glider. Let me show you how to do it. So for reference, this is what the wing will look like when you're done with it. It's got the four wing supports with the carbon arrow right in the middle. And here's the template made from Dollar Tree foam board. First, you need to cut out the wing and the four supports and the tail for the wing. Then take the wing, flip it over, and now you need to laminate the back with packing tape. And you need to use like the really thin annoying stuff. And what this does is it really reinforces the wing. A little bit of weight, a lot of strength. So now what you're gonna do is flip the wing back over and mark the wing into a four inch and a six inch section. Use a razor to lightly cut through the top of the paper and then remove the paper from the six inch section. This allows you to fold the wing over without breaking it. Now position the cut along the edge of a table and fold over the wing. Then rub the crease with a rounded object to flatten the foam of it. This will allow the foam to bend better and create a smoother leading edge for the wing. Now fire up those hot glue guns because it's time to assemble the wing. You wanna place the first wing support about a half inch away from the crease in the wing. Then put wing support number two right on top of the first one and put a carbon fiber arrow behind it. This really increases the rigidity of the wing and you pretty much need it if you're gonna shoot this off of a potato cannon. Next, just add some glue to the top of the wing, fold it over and hold it tight so the wing doesn't bulge and misshape in any way. So now if you're gonna launch a slider off of a potato cannon, you need to 
a way to launch it off the potato cannon. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use a cardboard tube and it's just going to slip right over the barrel of the potato cannon. Now you're probably not lucky enough to get a cardboard tube that perfectly fits over the barrel. All right, so here you go. You can tell that the pipe doesn't really fit perfectly through the cardboard tube. So what we're going to do is cut it right down the middle and then glue it together and tape it together until it fits perfectly right over the tube. Now it's time to add a nose cone to the plane and I've included a 3D printable file on my website that's perfectly sized for a one inch PVC barrel. So you can just pop it right in there at the end of the tube. Now, if you don't have a 3D printer or don't have access to one, it's pretty simple just to get a bunch of junk and jam it into the end of the tube and tape it up so it seals up good. So you're gonna just take this and you're gonna make sure that the, the front of the tube is sticking out like about an inch. Now we need to make the tail for the plane, which is pretty simple. You can use a carbon fiber arrow, which is preferable because they're extremely stiff, they don't bend at all, but you can also use a dowel. Now we're gonna glue the tail to the arrow shaft. So a little trick I found to help the foam keep its shape is to kind of use a piece of tape like this just like that. And then what you wanna do is put some glue right in the little notch there, and then put it on the plane, just like that. So if you don't have a GoPro, don't worry. You can still use something to balance the glider. I'm using a battery and that really works perfectly. It's the perfect weight. And anyway, even if you are using a GoPro or you aren't, what you need to do is balance the glider. Make sure that the center of gravity is perfect. So you wanna put your finger on the front third of the plane like this and hold it out to make sure that the glider is even. Because if the nose is too heavy, it'll look like that and it'll do a nose dive when you shoot it. And if it's tail heavy, it'll look like that, and it'll just do flips when you throw it. And just throw it around a little bit to make sure you get a nice flight. All right, now that we got all the planes built, let's load up the car and test them out. Wow. Oh my God, Joe, that was so good. Look at it. Oh, it's gonna go in the water. Oh my God, I hope it doesn't go in the water. Oh no, don't go in the water, don't go in the water, don't go in the water. Go in the water. Yes, <laughs> that was such a good fly. Right, guys well i've had a ton of fun building these planes and even more fun flying them i think you guys will have a blast building and flying them too so if you do build these let me know share some pictures on my website or tag me on instagram i'd love to see it uh, see you guys next time bye